up YouTube? This is not well planned. First of all, thank you for joining me for my anniversary video. Let's just get right into it. Oh, but before we do that, happy birthday, Tree Hugger. I thank you so much for your support and all that good crap. So of course I have to answer your question first. What was the first movie that made you cry? Um, The Color Purple. What is your biggest dream in life? Okay, my dream isn't really big, but it's really simple and I think it's totally doable. I just wanna have a flourishing writing career. I want my condo by the ocean and I want my two cats. And I just wanna like walk on the sand with like white linen flown in a breeze or some shit. That's it, that's all I want. Do you believe that there is only one love for everyone? I used to think that, um, but now I don't because for all I know, my true love could be in Zimbabwe somewhere. So what the hell? What's up with the blog though? All right, what's up with the blog? I haven't written anything in a very long time. I mean, all my other short stories that I've written are on my blog, but anything recent, no. And I really have to get back into that. So thank you for reminding me. It's been two years since the opening up video. How was Cree doing today? Um, I'm all right. I'm all right. Do you have a height limit when you date someone? Like how short and tall the person can be? No, I don't have a height requirement as much as I have an idiot requirement. Just don't be one. If your house were to catch on fire, what's the one thing you would grab to save before you get the hell out of there? The one thing I would save would probably just be my purse because you know how girls are. We always put a lot of shit in our purses. So I feel like whatever happens, I'll be able to rebuild it because material things really don't matter to me. But I have my plastic and I can like buy stuff. So yeah, as long as I can run out with my purse, even if I'm butt ass naked, We'll, we'll just work from there. Referring back to your Valentine's Day cooking video, do you typically date guys that are much older than you? I don't typically date anybody, but um, I don't have an age requirement. I just ask, once again, going back to the whole idiot thing, just don't be one and try to have some level of maturity about yourself. Uh, I prefer if you just didn't turn 21 like yesterday. Besides that, I'm pretty open, I guess. I know you Scorpios are known to be control freaks and you seem to have a very bubbly personality. Oh my God, really? Which would you prefer, spontaneity or stability? I prefer stability only because I can be kind of um, unpredictable sometimes because of my, you know. And so <laughs> I'll prefer someone who can be a little bit more grounded than I am. Even though I'm pretty good like 80% of the time, but that, that 20%, yeah, I don't know. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go and why? I would really love to go to Spain before I turn to 98 year old dust. But before then, I really wanna to go to Vegas. So let's see if we can make that happen this summer. I mean, I don't know who's footing the bill, but you know, if, if you have some ideas, I'm open to them. Are you happy with where you are in life? No, I'll never be happy with where I am in life. And I don't think that's a bad thing because I always, I set my goals very high and I always have goals in mind and I actually break it down month to month now like okay before the month is out I want to do A, B, and C. So I feel like as long as I'm not completely satisfied then it doesn't give me room to be complacent either. So I don't think I'll ever be happy. When is the last time someone said they were proud of you? The last time someone said they were proud of me was uh I think like two months ago my mom told me that so yeah that was cute. Would you rather drop kick a baby in front of a packed church or rub your titty meats on an armadillo's back live on national television? Okay, here's the thing. You didn't specify whether my titty meat had to be like nude or not because if you want me to rub my titty meat like sans the amazing extreme push-up bra, um, that's that's not gonna be a cute sight. So let's just drop kick the baby, okay? Will you ever have a meet and greet? If so, when? I will never have a meet and greet. I'm not that important. Nobody knows who I am. I ain't shit on YouTube. I'm not putting myself down, let's just call it what it is, okay? I mean, if you talk about me and greet like at VidCon or something, that's doable, but me by myself, no. Plus, I'm extremely awkward in like large social crowds. I really don't know what to do with myself. No, that's, I, I can pretty much tell you right now that's never gonna happen. When was the last time you cried? The last time I cried was two and a half weeks ago after a tremendous, fantastic hangover that lasted about 48 hours. Have you ever read The Tipping Point by Malcolm Gladwell? No, I have not. Are you offering to buy me the book? If you had the ability to time travel, how would you use it? Well, first of all, if I was that smart, I'm sorry, if I were that smart, clean up the grammar, I would not use time travel because knowing me, I probably would like push somebody down the stairs and I would change the entire course of the world. And then I'd come back to the future with like six stunt boobs instead of two. And that's not good for anybody. If there's a biopic made to pay homage to your life, who would you be comfortable in portraying you and why? 
Um, I love Rosario Dawson. I think she would do a tremendous job playing me and at least get nominated for a Golden Globe. What are the most underestimated qualities about yourself you wish people would embrace first? Well, there's only really one. I just wish people didn't assume I was just a stuck up bitch and they would realize that I'm really awkward and weird and dorky and down to earth and chill and actually a pretty cool person. That's all, simple. Who inspires you and why? My siblings absolutely inspire me. My brothers and my sister. I mean, I'm the youngest, so of course I look up to them for all different reasons and I don't wanna go on too much because Mikey, you're not gonna make me cry. So let's just leave it at that. They inspire me and I love them and um, yeah. All right, you guys, thank you so much for everyone who participated in my Q&A session. I really, really appreciate it so, so much. So of course I have to give you a shout out tree hugger panther camaro a dub joel henderson big dale base quake 04 romeo ktv truck 316 jamtastic i tweet and shit he is like one of the best people i follow on twitter i love his tweets he's awesome mikey t 202 the one who almost made me cry yeah All right, the winner of the Q&A special is, first of all, thank you everyone who submitted a question and actually did it right. I really appreciate it. Again, I just have to say that. But I'm sending my Cree care package full of random shit to Jamtastic. And just in case you're wondering, I already brought it. So I'm not bullshitting, okay? Thank you for watching my anniversary video. I really appreciate everyone who's been subscribing to me, who has been supporting my videos for the past four years and who's still here with me and um, find something interesting to look at. You know, you take care.